Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Watch and Wearer. I'm your host, Robert Chest. Thank you for being with me today. Let's roll the intro. We're rolling the intro Friday. <laughs> Once again to the first podcast from Watch and Wear. Uh, I'm really excited to be with you. Uh, I'm excited to start this uh, journey, this channel, to uh, to start putting some content out there. Uh, I'm really excited and happy to be with you, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, I want to start off with a little bit about myself, who I am, and why I am starting a watch channel. There are plenty of watch channels out there. In fact, I'm I've been really inspired by some of the uh, other content that's out there on YouTube. This is Friday, by the way. Little Kitty Friday. Hi, Friday. How are you? Uh, but other watch channels have really been in an inspiration to me, uh, whether it's the Urban Gentry with TGV uh, or some others that I've been checking out recently. But a little bit about myself. Um, I, my background is in retail management. Uh, right now I work for Macy's. I'm the watch and jewelry manager at my local store here in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, before that I have been in charge of men's departments, home departments. I've, uh, I've run visual merchandising for uh, Dillard's uh, and worked there in management as well as a sales associate. Uh, and I've, I've even spent some time at Belk. If you aren't familiar with some of those stores, uh, Macy's you probably know. It's, uh, it's more, of, more or less a nationwide retailer, more or less. Uh, Dillard's and Belk are more regional to the southeast here, uh, but they're also big department stores locally. Uh, so that's kind of my background. I took over the watch counter uh, as well as jewelry, but um, I'll, I'll focus in more or less on the watch counter. I took over the watch counter at Macy's about a year ago, and prior to that, I had I had um, kind of gotten off watches. I, I had some watches that I wore that I really liked, but I wasn't excited about watches. I wasn't thrilled with them, and part of the reason behind that was that I really had only been exposed to fashion watches uh, in the past. So my experience was with quartz movements, fashion watches, and not every watch that I had really blew me away. Did, didn't really fall in love with all of them. Uh, and one thing that happened was I took a watch in to have a battery replacement done, and sure, sure enough, I got it home and the back popped off, and I'm looking down at this tiny little quartz movement held in with plastic inside this much larger watch case and I just was disappointed <laughs> that that didn't that didn't really excite me it didn't didn't make me feel good about the watch that I was wearing uh, but since I've taken over the watch counter at Macy's I really started getting back into watches started watching uh, YouTube videos about watches um, found the Urban Gentry, found all of the content that's out there, and really have started to enjoy watches again, and have started up a small collection of my own now, uh, of watches that I really love, uh, that I will share with you over time, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'll definitely be talking about my watches, but also I've got access to the watches at the Macy's counter where I can really bring those uh, to you in a way that uh, lets me show off watches that I may not own, but that might be exciting uh, to me, or, uh, 
something I might be looking at owning or something that I think you might enjoy, uh, I'll definitely be bringing those watches to you. Um, it is my goal to have content for both men and women on the channel. Um, obviously, as a man, I'm collecting men's watches for myself, but there are some really amazing uh, ladies' watches out there. I'm thinking specifically of the Bulova Rubiat collection. I plan to do a video uh, f focusing on those watches. Ladies' watch that's just a really beautiful um, reinterpretation of of ladies watches and uh, something that I think that you will really like so I'm excited about that I'm excited to bring that to you and I have some other ideas that I think will be fun uh, to explore as well uh, that will have content specifically for ladies although I think that the um, the men in the audience will certainly have something to gain from those those uh, talks as well um, and but basically this will be a chance for you to follow my watch collecting journey uh, almost from the beginning uh, because I'm just really starting into the hobby myself now. So uh, a couple of last thoughts. I'm, I've got a couple of ideas for kind of recurring segments that I want to throw into the mix for you. Um, the first one I'm calling the breakdown. The idea behind the breakdown is that um, certain watches pair really well with certain types clothing, specifically, you know, certain ways of dressing that might be more dressy or less dressy. So the watch that I'm thinking about buying, what type of clothing is it appropriate with? Um, and the breakdown is, a, in essence, an attempt to try and get at um, my idea of what a watch will pair well with from your wardrobe. So I've basically got a system of ranking from 1 to 10, from casual to dressy. Um, I'll be going over what I'm calling the breakdown in an upcoming video, probably one of the next ones that I shoot, um, to kind of give you an idea of what that breakdown looks like and how I'm going to be talking about it in relation to the watches that I feature on the channel. Uh, so be looking for that. That's the breakdown. I'm also going to do a segment called uh, that I'm calling Robert's Rules of Order. Uh, Robert's Rules of Order, if you don't know, is a parliamentary procedure handbook, uh, but my name is Robert, and so I'm sort of co-opting um, the name. So Robert's Rules of Order will be a segment kind of focusing on rules for wearing watches. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of, I'll be thinking about rules that I want to bring to you and these will, won't be hard and fast rules, there will be more guidelines, uh, ideas that I have about how to wear watches, uh, what you should do, what you should not do, um, that hopefully will give you some guidance uh, as well. And some, some things that I will throw in will probably be related more to men's fashion uh, in Robert's Rules of Order, but um, I'm, I'm planning to have some fun with that, and so stay tuned for that as well. Uh, the next segment I want to talk about, I, I want to feature every time I do a video, is something I'm calling Who Are You Wearing? Uh, Who Are You Wearing is kind of a nod to the wristwatch check that you see so often in videos. So I will definitely be doing a wristwatch check within the What Are You Wearing segment, but also talking a little bit about uh, fashion, uh, maybe including the clothing that I'm wearing or something that I'm featuring. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I, I can actually go ahead and throw in a little what, uh, who are you wearing segment right now. Uh, I have on today my Orient Bambino. This is a uh, version three. Uh, it's got an amazing blue sort of sunburst style. I'm trying to get it so that the lights aren't reflecting off of it. There we go. That's a little bit better. You can kind of get an idea there of the, the dial beautiful blue color. It's going to pull out some of the blue in my clothing, in my scarf, or navy in my tie. These um, other muted brown colors I think go really nicely with it. This sweater that I'm wearing is actually a Travero cashmere sweater. Travero is a brand that used to be available at Dillard's. I'm not sure if you can still even get that brand. It's sort of a micro brand. Um, someone who is a men's clothing designer who was a friend of the, fam the, the Dillard's family, 
actually started this brand. Trevero means three truths in Italian, I believe. I think I've got that right. Uh, so there were three sort of brand pillars. One of the brand pillars was artisanal craftsmanship. Um, I can't remember the others off the top of my head, but it was a brand that really excited me at the time uh, when I was working at Dillard's. Uh, I bought a lot of their cashmere sweaters, some coats, and uh, I think some vests and jackets and things. Uh, so things you might see <laughs> later on uh, as I do other videos. But that's, uh, that's Trevero. I I'd certainly recommend cashmere. This is really lightweight. Um, it's not bulky, it's not heavy, although you can get bulky, heavy cashmere sweaters. This is light, very breathable, any sort of natural fiber. Uh, like cashmere is going to be really breathable. It'll keep you warm when it's cold. It will allow you to cool off when it's warm. Uh, so it's really a great investment. Perfect for the weather. We're having just a little bit uh, cool outside right now. Uh, so that's what I'm. That's what and who I'm wearing right now. But uh, that's our who I'm wearing. Who are you wearing segment uh, for today? And the last segment I wanted to talk about is. Um, I want to do a recurring watch crush segment, uh, tell you about watches that have caught my eye. Uh, and so while I'm thinking about that, I can go ahead and do one for today. Um, I just watched a, a video that's just come out from Urban Gentry. Um, I'll try and put a link to it in the uh, description here. Uh, but. Uh, he was talking about a brand new Seiko diver that's come out. Seiko has basically reissued, or not reissued, but um, reimagined their original Seiko dive watch. I think it was, came out in the 70s. Um, and this watch is the Seiko Diver SBDC051. It's a pros part of the Prospects line, but the SBDC051, beautiful dive watch. Um, I'll try and put a picture up uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. My current watch crush, um, obviously some of these watch crushes will be sort of spur of the moment things, uh, things that might not last, but others might, um, might be, you know, the, the, the next watch that you'll love for the rest of your life. So you never know with a watch crush, but it's always a, a fun thing to, to talk about the watches that are catching my eye. Uh, so you see what I'm looking at, uh, the, the new watches that are out, or old watches, frankly, that, um, that really speak to me, uh, and maybe they'll speak to you too. Anyway, so join me next time. Uh, I'm going to probably do a video about my breakdown, uh, give you an idea of what that looks like so I can use that in upcoming videos. So join me soon for that. If you like what you're... Um, what you're hearing, if you want more content from this channel, from Watch and Wearer, then by all means like this video and subscribe. Uh, I'd love to have you subscribe and follow upcoming content because there's lots of good things on the way. Uh, thank you and join me next time for Watch and Wearer.